Hello and welcome to SAE Unplugged. I'm your host, Grayson Brulte. Are grocery stores the key to building public trust for autonomous trucks? Yes, absolutely 100% yes. And here is why. Consumers are suffering under the high burden of inflation, which currently stands at 3%. That's what the numbers say, but in reality, it kind of tells you it's much higher. It's look at your everyday life. While inflation is coming down from, from the highs to the depths of the pandemic, it's still running high and consumers are suffering under the high cost of goods and services. To pay for goods and services, consumers are dipping into their wallets and pulling out their credit cards to cover the increased cost of living. Consumers are going into debt. That's right, consumers are going into debt just to put food on the table. And the debt's piling up and the debt's getting expensive and frankly, it's sad. In the first quarter of 2023, Americans' total credit card balances were $986 billion. Americans' total credit card balances were $986 billion, according to data from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. It's high. It's almost a trillion dollars. Think about that. It's almost a trillion dollars. This is the highest balance since the New York Fed began tracking credit card data balances in 1999. Factor in the high balance with high interest rates, and you got a recipe for a disaster. It's not good. It's expensive to service this debt. The average rate on a U.S. credit card currently stands at 24.69%, up from 22.16% in May. The consumer is drowning in debt, and it's only going to get more expensive to service the debt and harder to service the debt for millions of individuals around the country that have to start paying student loans back. It's going to get very hard to service this debt. Then let's factor in the European summer vacation that, in my opinion, consumers overspent on. And you've got a powder keg ready to explode. We've got a potential economic disaster brewing on the horizon that's not being talked about. The average international airfare for, for Coach, that's right, Coach, is currently averaging $962, up 10% from last year, and 26% from 2019 to go over internationally to Europe. Steep increases. They're average, but they're very steep increases. And then let's look at this peak demand. Everybody wants to go around peak demand. Nobody wants to fly when it's cheap because it doesn't align with our schedules. Airlines know this. They've got dynamic pricing and they raise the prices. Or if you want to use the Uber, ment the Uber mentality, surge pricing. So let's factor in peak demand into this. The peak demand flights to go international from the United States are currently averaging close to $1,300 a ticket. Let's dive into this even further here. For a family of four to travel to Europe, it would cost them $5,200 for the airfare alone during peak times. $5,200 alone for the airfare during peak times. That's coach airfare. That's not fancy first class business. That's coach. You're in the back with the cattle call. Okay, well, you wanted to go, so you paid. You didn't pay the $15,000 average fare to go business, but you paid it for coach. If, if, you're, if you're feeling this YOLO moment, you only live once and you really want to go for it, you're going to spend even more because why? You only live once, so let's be stupid. In Paris, the average luxury hotel room costs eight hundred and sixty-nine dollars a night U.S. That's up from seven hundred and ten dollars a night in twenty twenty-two, and five hundred and ninety-four dollars a night in twenty twenty-one. It's expensive to go to Paris. Oh, and the prices are only going up, up and away. And next year, it'll probably be I don't know nine hundred and forty dollars a night for a luxury hotel. We never know unless inflation comes down. The European Union still in the middle of it. Potential recession. If the EU goes in recession, prices could go down. Then perhaps the euro goes down. They didn't take advantage of it. But I'm just a uh, wannabe economist. What can I say? So let's dive into this. Five, five nights in Paris at a luxury hotel. It's now going to cost you $4,345 plus airfare, which we already said is astronomically high at 52 hundred dollars and let's be generous let's give you a food and uh, food and wine budget i love wine and there's great wine in france of of 2000 us for a grand total of eleven thousand five hundred and forty five dollars for a family of four to enjoy five days in paris that's almost two thousand dollars a day now me being me and then people that know me will appreciate this the airfare and coach with the cattle call is going to cost you more fifty two hundred dollars and this is day in the luxury hotel in paris at four thousand three hundred forty five dollars Something's wrong here. I repeat, something's wrong here. It's cheaper to stay in Paris than it is to fly there. It's not good. It's not good. That's going to change. And this is before you even factor in souvenirs and incidentals. You go overseas, you, you, you want your souvenirs, you want your incidentals, or perhaps you want to buy really good wine, you want to go to, to Cheval Blanc. Okay, well, that's going to cost you even more then. Bottom line is it's expensive to travel to Europe now. It's expensive to vacation in Europe. Not to mention that the euro is currently trading at $1.10. 
You're paying for all practical purposes a 10% tax on top of all that. Okay, 10% more. For every $100, you're paying an additional $10. For every $100, you're paying an additional $10 because of the currency. Did you put that trip on your credit card and you don't plan on paying it in full? It's going to cost you even more. You get the hint here, right between the lines here. It's getting very, very expensive. Let's say that you plan on paying that trip off in 12 months. You'll end up paying an additional $2,840.07 in interest. It's getting expensive. It's getting expensive. That equates out to $236.67 a month in interest. Carry this balance for more than 12 months and the bill, it's only going to get larger and larger and larger. It's going to be a snowball going down the hill by the time you know it's an avalanche. That's how big it's going to get. It's sad. Why did you do the trip? Because you only live once and you threw out financial discipline because you're the YOLO moment. Got to be part of the YOLO moment. That $236.67 a month that you're going to pay in monthly interest, it's going to cut into your household budget. That money could have been allocated to groceries, but now instead is being allocated to debt payments. Was it worth it? I repeat, was it worth it? An additional $236.67 a month that you're paying in interest? I mean, that's, that's including not using your car, so you're getting get even bigger. Was it worth it? That's the question only you'll be able to answer. And over time, it probably becomes less and less worth it because you gambled all to live the YOLO. But you did it, and now you're going to have to pay the price. While you were fortunate enough to be able to travel to Europe this summer and have that YOLO moment, even though you have to carry a balance and you're going to suffer under that balance, millions of individuals in the United States were not as fortunate as they're living paycheck to paycheck. Why? Inflation, inflation, inflation. Inflation is a regressive tax. Inflation is causing U.S. consumers to change their spending habits. This year, 47% of U.S. consumers have started shopping at a new grocery store. Why? You guessed it, because of inflation. This is up from 41% in 2022, according to Morgan Stanley Research. Were all these, cons were all these consumers doing their grocery shopping now? Think about this. Where, where do you go when times get lean? You go down market. These consumers, they're going to dollar stores in Aldi. Why? Because they're simply more affordable. Their dollar can go further there than the traditional grocery store. Walmart. Okay, a lot of consumers go to Walmart when times get lean. Walmart is the leader in the grocery segment with a 25.1% market share. While it's been losing market share year over year in the grocery segment, it's still the leader in, in my opinion, look at all the data, Walmart's poised to benefit in this inflationary environment. Walmart historically has always benefited in an inflationary environment. Walmart, known for low prices, stands to benefit as your dollar goes further at Walmart. Walmart currently stands as the market leader in the grocery segment. Amazon, which under CEO Andy Jassy is in the middle of a major grocery restore revamp, could gain market share for their Amazon Fresh if they did the following. Follow the Walmart model by rolling back prices. The best way for Amazon to roll back prices is simple. That's right, Mr. Jassy. The best way for you to roll back prices, sir, is very simple. Integrate autonomous trucks into the Amazon Fresh supply chain. Mr. Jassy, I repeat, sir, integrate autonomous trucks into the Amazon Fresh supply chain. Why? Simple. Autonomous trucks save money. Autonomous trucks save money. Autonomous trucks are cheaper to operate, and those cost savings that you're saving from your operations can be passed on to the consumers. Mr. Jassy, you can roll back the prices, sir. But how do we make the consumer aware of this? Simple. Show, do not tell. Show, do not tell. For one week, Amazon, in my opinion, should have one of the newly revamped Amazon Fresh stores in Chicago or California have all items delivered by autonomous trucks and discount every item by 20% in the store for one week. 20% discount on every single item for one week in that stores. Why 20%? In my opinion, based on the back of the envelope math, this is the average savings that can be passed on con to consumers by utilizing autonomous trucks. For that consumer that is suffering under high inflation, credit card payments, student debt repayments, they now have an opportunity to roll back inflation because of autonomy. They can beat back the, the regressive tax that is known as inflation. For every $100 that a consumer spends on groceries at Amazon Fresh stores, their purchasing power will now be $120. Imagine that. For every $100 
that an individual has budgeted for their groceries at an Amazon Fresh over that one week, they now get $120 of spending power. Factor in inflation at 3%, that's $17 more of spending power. That's powerful. That's powerful. This is the power of autonomy, cost, savings. Imagine being able to shop at a grocery store and having your dollar go further while still buying great products. Autonomy can make this happen. And Amazon can help to usher in the autonomous era by embracing autonomous trucks. Well, Amazon can do this at Amazon Fresh. Imagine that it's at Whole Foods. So it's no longer known as Whole Check. It's known as Saving Check. Think about that. Amazon has a dual prong approach to helping consumers save money. Autonomy can make this happen. Amazon can help to usher in the autonomous era of cost savings by embracing autonomous trucks and putting them into their grocery supply chain. If Amazon did this, the consumers will save money and they will gain market share. Mr. Jassy, you will have your grocery store strategy. Wall Street will cheer. Consumers will cheer. You just won. Sir, you just won. If Amazon were to do this, they would also further to help build public trust in autonomous trucks. No more misleading headlines designed to scare the public. Oh, truck did this, truck did that. Nope, that's all off the table. The public knows the truth. Autonomy saves money. No more misleading public statements by officials that we're seeing in California off the table. The public knows the truth. No more lies and op-eds in newspapers, including the New York Times. The public knows the truth. The public knows the truth. Autonomy saves consumers money. Autonomy saves consumers money. Once the consumer sees, the consumer believes. Let's come together and help the consumer save money on their groceries. After all, groceries in the United States, they're expensive. Food prices are up 4.6% from a year earlier in June, more than double the rate of inflation targeted by the Federal Reserve. While down from their August 2022 peak of 13.5%, groceries are still expensive. Consumers need a break at the grocery store and autonomy can give them this well-deserved break. If we give consumers a break on the cost of their groceries, we have a bright future that is prosperous and autonomous. In my opinion, saving on groceries is the key to building public trust for autonomous trucks. That's right, we come together, save consumers money on their groceries by leveraging grocery stores. We are building public trust. This is the key to building public trust for the consumers is saving money, showing, not telling. What do you think? Let us know by sending an email to podcast at sae.org. That's podcast at sae.org. Today is tomorrow, tomorrow is today. The future is saving consumers money through autonomy. SAE International makes no representations as to the accuracy of the information presented in this podcast. The information and opinions are for general information only. SAE International does not endorse, approve, recommend, or certify any information, product, process, service, or organization presented or mentioned in this podcast. 